Did you know? The first federal benefits for women in their own right, not as widows, dependents, or heirs, were authorized by Congress in 1892. The law provided pensions in the amount of $12 per month to women employed as nurses, under contract or otherwise, by the Union Army Surgeon General during the Civil War. The most famous of those beneficiaries was Red Cross founder Clara Barton, who began her nursing career less than a month before the Civil War began. To be eligible, Civil War nurses must have worked as a nurse for at least six months or been honorably discharged from such service. Nursing was not an established profession at that time, so women learned on the job and performed medical as well as non-medical tasks. At least 2,000 women served as nurses during the Civil War. That's all for this week's show. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Lisa Gagler. And I'm Prince Taylor. We're glad you could be with us. Cheers, and have a great week, everyone. Thank you.